Oh my gosh. Um, it's actually been a few days since I've been here, but welcome. And I hope you've had a fabulous Monday. Um, I'm Jen with Artistic Painting Studio, if you are new to my page here. And um, as you come in, make sure you give StreamYard permission so that they'll use your Facebook name. So as you say hello and um, comment, we'll actually see your name. So hello, Madonna. Thanks for joining. Um, I ended up with a longer weekend than I had anticipated, but I had a procedure done on Friday, so that meant I was gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? So it was kind of nice to come back to work, okay? I kind of started to have cabin fever being at home. Um, so Christine, welcome. And Rima, thanks for hanging out. Um, so I got a project here that we're going to try to do a little bit more work on it. And I have to be honest, I have never epoxied over glitter. So I truly was going online and looking for any basic instruction on did they do anything over the glitter before they go directly to the epoxy or do you just go directly to epoxy and just go for it? Um, so I haven't finished doing my research. <laughs> um, so we're going to finish one part of my tumbler, and then I think I'm going to wait to epoxy it tomorrow. And that way we can actually get on here even a little earlier tomorrow, maybe. Um, I also want to tell you guys, okay, this is like one of my favorite ones that I've done. I like actually the shape of the cup. I like how the, um, the liquid comes through um the drink part of it but i have to admit i epoxied this and took it to the river like within days and used it and used it and used it on that river trip and my epoxy wasn't cured all the way okay so i'm gonna have to do a little repair on here i'm gonna put another flood coat over it so i'm gonna fix that because that was the color of the tumbler before i started it was turquoise um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that you got to let your epoxy sit for at least probably five to seven days before you use the item, okay? I was excited and I wanted to go show it off and it was like a river trip, so I'm like, hey, 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 um, and I didn't let it cure, okay? So make sure you guys um, let your epoxy cure well. Um, let's see here. Nancy, okay, Nancy, do me a favor, um, email me, okay, jennifer at artisticpaintingstudio.com, and I will look into it because I'll probably forget if you don't do that, okay, so definitely do me a favor and email me, um, and we'll check and see what's going on with your order. Um, let's see, Madonna has some information here. She says, if you start at the top on the foil, you should be good. Or you can seal the glitter with clear. Ah, okay. So Madonna must be a, a glitter queen with tumblers. Okay. I knew, I knew somebody on here. And I was thinking like, you know, even a spray. Yes. Because if I start with my epoxy and put that over this part first, then if I pick up any glitter, it'll stay on to the glitter part. Okay. I see what you're talking about. But I think I'm going to finish this one up with my um, little transition line here. And then I think I'll go ahead and spray it with a clear and um, we'll probably do this tomorrow. But how cool is this cup? Okay, I am so excited about it. You talk about a blingy cup. This is going to be awesome. Um, so we're gonna have some fun. Um, okay. That is going to be like my messiest thing that I'm going to do tonight. So I think I'm going to finish up a couple other things first, okay, as I've got you guys on here. And um, I'm going to show you, um, okay, so we're going to just do a little bit of prep, okay. So we get so many new people that come in on a constant basis. And Christy, Christy looks new. I don't think I've seen her name here before. Um, that we're going to talk about the whole process of doing foils. And um, I'm starting off, I'm going to shake it really quick, uh, with my Bondego Black. And this is like the best, ah, okay, <laughs> the best base coat and primer all in one. And the lid gets stuck, okay? So you got to be careful. 
Um, I really should do what I preach all the time and a really good trick you guys because our paint just gets on the rim which when we screw the lid back on it gets stuck. Put a piece of press and seal over the top of this first before you screw your lid on and I'll guarantee you you won't have this issue. And I really should do that when I close that jar. Okay so I'm going to grab a stir stick um, because even though I shook it I always like to get in here and stir a little bit. Um, it's always great. So the reason I'm going to show even um, some of the process here is because we've got a new foil that just came in and I'm so excited about it. Um, and I haven't had a chance to even start the sample board so I can make a sample of it and show it off. So I'm going to show it off tonight, but it's not going to be nearly as pretty as it's going to be once I get it transferred. Um, so I'm making a, okay, let's move. Let's move our angle here, okay, and bring this down so that you can see my working area. Okay, I'm just using a piece of molding, a piece of trim, okay, and I'm going to base coat this in black Bondego because I always normally transfer 90% of my foils over black. A um, couple things about the Bondego is look how awesome that covers in one coat. Um, it's a paint and primer in one, so you don't have to normally worry about adhesion on your surface, and we find that this stuff just about sticks to everything, okay? And I'm just brushing across here really light-handed, trying to smooth out my brush strokes the best I can. Okay, I've got a little bit of texture, but not too bad, and we're going to let that completely dry, okay? Um, and since I teased you guys a little bit here, I'm going to show off. Oh, I can do it on an ornament. Okay, perfect. <laughs> As I'm talking to myself. Um, let me see here. Um, so Madonna is saying, she says, I got my foil club foil and my order. I already have my tabletop base coat. It can't wait to foil this weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Ellie, welcome. Um, so anybody that's coming up here, okay, so this just says Facebook user and says, hi, Jen. I say, oh, I'd like to say hi back, but you have to give StreamYard permission so that we can use your Facebook name, okay? Otherwise, we don't know who you are. Um, so I'm going to show off. I'm going to show off this foil. Okay, this is called Pale Gold Fossil, and it has been out of stock ever since I took over the, um, the V-Mask collection, okay? And we just got it back in stock and we are so thrilled, okay? Um, I love, love bringing in new foils and we're gonna be bringing in a couple more that'll probably be right after the first of the year. Okay, so our V-Mask are very, very, easy release and you can see that just when I pulled off the um, the label okay it basically took that foil off so I'm just going to get rid of that little section um, so that it's not flaky okay and I think this will be pretty on at least a Christmas tree ornament okay so let me even cut us a little strip to actually use now, with the bee mask, none of their foils look all that great when they're on the carrier because they're a frosted carrier. It's not a clear carrier like most of our other foils. So they're a little deceiving of what they look like. Um, so that's why I always do, um, I always do a sample, okay, so that we can show them off, okay. Um, I'm going to transfer from the, the top of this down, okay, so that way I can still come back and do the top of this ornament. And I'm excited to see this, okay. So um, once, well, these just came in today, okay, so this is like my first time, I mean, I've had that gold, pale gold fossil in the past, okay, we just didn't get any of it and we took over the line because um, it was sold out so we are thrilled 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 here 
I'll show you how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, brand new foil, you guys. You are going to love it. So those of you that have seen this in the past, it's just as stunning and the release is perfect. Um, for those of you that are new, um, it's just a beautiful modeled um model foil okay so I'll be doing a bigger sample of this um, so that you guys can see it well but now one of my Christmas tree ornaments has gold fossil on it okay Woo, fun 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 um, but yes I was I've been dying to get back here and get this transferred today um, so at least I got to show you guys okay um, we will hopefully have it up um, on the website um, sometime tomorrow um, so that you guys can get it because we've already got a couple of people that have pre-ordered it because they knew we, were ha we had it coming back in so that's exciting um, hello Vicki and Dawn oh so we've got another newbie here this is awesome okay um, Pamela is saying I have never foiled yet but want to try it and try it on the t-shirt. Do you use foil adhesive or can you use spray adhesive? Okay, if you're going to do it on a t-shirt, Pamela, we actually have several other um, types of... I'm grabbing them, okay? <laughs> we have four. Four other different types of adhesive, okay, for fabrics. Um, if you have a Cameo or a Cricut or any types of vinyl cutter, we actually have a um, heat transfer vinyl adhesive where you cut the image out of this and then you transfer um, the design to the shirt and then foil over it. So you can basically cut any pattern or design. Okay, you'll find the heat transfer vinyl adhesive on the website. And then if you're using a stencil, you can um, use either the gel or the spray. This is deco foil. These are the only products that we know that you can do fabric that will make it through the washer, okay? Uh, if you want to do outlining, you can use the liquid, okay? You draw with this one. It has a little tip at the top where you can cut it um, and it just puts out a line so you just draw with it. But these are all for for fabric use, okay? So um, you want to make sure that you are definitely getting the right kind of adhesive for your project. My regular foil adhesive will not make it through the wash and it doesn't really work good on fabric. It's meant for hard surface. Um, oh, Sunny. Huh, weird. Okay, don't worry about it, Sunny. If you come, if you go out and come back in, it's normally right at the top that tells you how to use it. Um, Pamela, yes. If you hit my website, uh, which I'm going to type it in, um, I can't get the link without really spending too much time on this, but go to that website and um, I'm going to put it up on the screen. Uh, why did it come up twice? That's weird. Um, but when you go to that website, just uh, there's a search box on the very top left hand corner of the screen and if you just type in foil adhesive it'll take you to a page where all of our foil adhesives are so um, you can check that out and um, find all of our adhesive and all of our foils which is really cool okay so now that we've done a little introduction with that um, like I said I want to finish up a couple of things here and um, these are my earrings that I really want done because I want to wear these. Um, I did one side in our um, cheetah silver foil and I'm going to do the other side in cheetah gold. Um, so they're all prepped and ready to go and I need to get foil on here before these get round. Okay so this is just our cheetah pattern. Okay so it's just cheetah and this is the gold foil. Um, and I'm just going to use a little corner here and get this transferred. Uh, and my toothbrush is going to work the best. Where's my toothbrush? Okay, this is not my favorite toothbrush. Where's my favorite toothbrush? <laughs> I 
I have to, I, I've been gone, okay? So now everything is not where it's supposed to be. Okay, where is that pink toothbrush? I think it went to the river. I better come back from the river. Oh, don't you hate it? I hate it when I clean up. Because when I clean up is when I can't find anything anymore. Oh, well. Okay, we'll find it. Or I'll have to go back to Dollar Tree and go buy me some more toothbrushes. Okay, yeah. See, I need to scrub harder. Uh, that's why we like the stiff, stiff bristles. And my other toothbrush is way, way stiffer, okay? Now, I missed getting all the way to the top because of the, um, the hardware. So I'm just going to reposition that a little bit and try to get that. Okay, these are going to be so adorable, okay? I'll be rocking these all Christmas, okay, guaranteed. So if they flip over, they're just going to be two-sided. And I'm going to try to position where I get a lot of the gold because I think the gold looks really, really good on the trees. Um, so if you haven't checked these out yet. Um, oh, did you get happy mail today, Crystal? Yay! Oh, gosh. I need to get with you sometime soon if you have any time at all. I need a bunch of things created, okay? Crystal helps me out a tremendous amount with my cameo because I am cameo illiterate, okay? So isn't that adorable? There's just so much fun. Um, but these are just going to be cute as can be. Now, the only thing I need to do now is just seal them, okay? So you want to definitely put a top coat over your earrings, okay, or anything you do with foils so that you can protect them. And then I'll be able to actually rock those out. Ooh, going to be fun. Um, let's see, how many balls do I have to? Okay, I got this one on a ball. So this is another one of my big Christmas balls that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and get that finished because it already has hit the floor once. And <laughs> I'm afraid that if I don't get this done, that this poor thing... It's just going to end up getting trashed, okay? So today, when I was setting things up back here, it actually hit the floor. So it probably even has a little dust and a little dirt on it, okay? <laughs> um, and you saw how I kind of wrapped that up, okay? So you're going to always have wrinkles and crinkles, and don't worry about it. It's just part of the whole fun thing of foiling. Nothing is perfect. Um, if you're new around here, it's just a nail scrub brush and get the stiffest one you can find. Stiff bristles are always going to be best for um, the best transfer, okay? But this is just a um, one of the huge, I want to say five, six inch Christmas balls that they had at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Painted it black and then put on the foil adhesive. So it's been sitting here for a good week um, just because I never got it done. And then transfer, okay? And if you have any place where it wrinkled a lot and you still can feel that sticky tack from the adhesive, you can just reposition the foil and go back and fill in, okay? Because anywhere where it kind of wrinkles and crinkles, um, you're never going to get a great transfer there, but it's easy just to reposition it, lay it back down, and smooth out some of your wrinkles, okay, as you move around, and you'll definitely get really, really good coverage. Well, hello, Diana. Thanks for joining. Oh, Darlene, I know. Our foil club foils this month are to die for. Uh, if you're not a Foil Club member yet, you want to be. Not only do you want to still get November's foils because they're fabulous, but December we have an incredible collection coming out. And also, if you are a Foil Club member for December, you have a free gift coming in your packet. So, we're treating it as a Christmas package. It's going to have a gift. <laughs> 
So if you haven't signed up, all you have to do is type in the word club and information will be sent to you via messenger so you can check out the group, the club and see if you want to join. Um, it's a great way to get an incredible collection of foils every month for a very, very good discount. It's almost 50% off a of retail. Um, so for no other reason, <laughs> you're getting a heck of a discount, but it also puts gorgeous foils in your hands every month um, to give you a chance to check stuff out. And um, I have heard so many great stories about how members have discovered foils that they may never have bought before, but they came in the club and they fell in love with them. So sometimes if you don't get to see something in person, um, it's hard to know how great it looks until you get it in your hands, okay? Okay, so this is turning out awesome, okay? So this is another one of my Christmas balls. Um, and we're going to hopefully get the tree up tomorrow. We're going to see. Um, my uh, One of my son's girlfriends is in town, and if she's going to be here tomorrow, I think I'm going to let her put my Christmas tree up and we're going to start decorating. So that one still needs to be top coated. Um, okay, so my last little thing here. I'm going to make a mess. Okay, <laughs> I want to make a mess over my foil. And I figured, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do, um, not black, that was my black. Okay, black glitter. Okay, I decided I was going to do black glitter over my transition. So we're going to get out my cup. And we're going to grab, oh, here we go. I threw this away earlier, not realizing I'm going to need a spoon again tonight, but I got a spoon where I'm just going to sprinkle my black glitter, okay? Oh, I know, Vicki. They're on their way to you. Um, awesome. It sounds like everybody's starting to get um, all their foils. That's awesome. And yes, Mary Jo, that was one of the big gold balls that I painted black. Um, Darlene, if you want to, okay, so my empty tubes, yes. If you want to order our cores, okay, they're called cores that we roll the foils on. I think they're like 85 cents a piece. And yes, you'll have to call the studio um, because we don't have them on the website yet, but I think we better put them on the website. It seems like a lot of people are wanting to order those. Um, okay, so let's get this done. Uh, I'm gonna take that out for now. And like I said, I think I'm gonna just finish this out. I'm gonna try to do this over the jar so it goes right back in. But all I'm gonna do is sprinkle Oh yeah, I'm gonna like that. That's gonna be a nice transition. Um, sprinkling the black over this edge because this is where the gold, oh, that's gonna be so nice. Okay, the gold and the foil came together and I want it as, I wanted a little bit more of a perfect line so I decided to go ahead and put another layer of foil adhesive okay so this is all done the glitter was done with foil adhesive that's how it's being attached but I painted on a whole nother um, whole nother layer so that I could get this transition so nobody knows that it looked ugly underneath there okay this is working pretty good I want to say most of it's going back into the container. <laughs> but that black, oh, that black is a nice transition, okay? Oops, okay. Either I did a horrible line here or I missed a little bit. Let's, let's see. Okay. That is pretty darn cool. Can you guys see that? Okay, look how awesome black glitter is. But that cup is going to be gorgeous and blingy. So I'm going to take the advice of Madonna. I'm going to do a clear spray over all my glitter so it's attached, okay? And that way tomorrow I'll be able to go ahead and get our epoxy out 
and we're going to stick this on the tumbler turner okay and finish it up but oh my gosh isn't that gorgeous even without the epoxy on it uh, if you miss this this is our shimmering sand glitter and the color is stunning and it works beautiful with the um, gold cheetah foil so this is going to be fun 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 uh, and i think i did pretty good at getting almost all my black glitter back into the container okay um so make sure you guys, I'm going to try to be back here between 4.30 and 5 tomorrow so that I can finish this up. And that way it will give me a chance to clean it up well, uh, get rid of any of the glitter that didn't stick, and be ready to go with this. Um, so if you guys have any questions, if I've missed anything, let me know. Um... Darlene, I don't, did I not do, let me think, I'm looking, Darlene, to ask you. Um, I didn't because you know what, we tested, Darlene, um, I tested the balls that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby on going directly onto the plastic. I went onto the matte plastic and the shiny plastic and it worked fine. I, I prefer black underneath all of mine, so I didn't go directly onto the gold ball, okay? But you definitely can. It will work. You're just going to have a little bit of gold peeking through, okay? So I went ahead and base coated um, all of mine. <laughs> Darlene, okay, yes, call us and you can get some cores, okay? Um, Susan, awesome. I love it. Um, so yes, um, Ellie, I'll make sure to send you the um, the link to the foil club so that you can join if you'd like to. Um, oh, Pamela, decorative mesh rolls. That's another thing, okay? Yeah, our cores that we sell are 13 inches long. So they give you a, a long enough core to be able to roll it on where there'll be a little bit of core left on either end. Um, so it does make it a little easier to have separate cores, but I'll, to be honest with you guys, we just never, um, we didn't price cores into the samples. So when we send out your samples, they're all rolled together, which I know is hard to unroll all of them. Um, but we were trying to keep our shipping down as low as we possibly could, okay? Um, <laughs> Darlene says she doesn't use enough paper towels. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, okay, this other finished, um, this project, you guys, this is my glass, okay, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And... I did part of it over black. Okay, let's get my tape off of here. And the rest of it I did over clear. Um, and I don't think you can really tell until my hand's inside of it, okay? But from the outside, there wasn't much difference um, other than in any of your negative spaces. I can see a little black underneath up here, and I can see um, basically the clear glass um, on the bottom. But this is, um, I think I'm actually going to add glitter to this as well. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a new stripe and do a glitter stripe on this. I think that'll be gorgeous to even finish this one out. And then I'm going to take it home and, well, I'm going to hopefully get me a nice um, candle for it and put a candle in here for our table. Okay, I thought that would be pretty. Now, looking from the outside doesn't look bad, but can you guys see from the inside here? Um, it's not that pretty on the inside because you can see through it. Um, so it's going to be interesting when I put a candle in here if it's going to really change the look of it. I still think I would go ahead and paint black um, just because I would like that opacity and I like the way it looks on the inside with the black versus without the black, okay? Uh, but again, that was just a Dollar Tree find, which is so much fun. Um, oh, Crystal, yes, our, our cores are definitely thick, okay? Um, let's see, okay, I think that's it with your guys' questions tonight. Um, 
again, as always, you guys, I'm just going to bring the camera back up for a minute. Thank you for hanging out. We always appreciate you being part of our community. And that's why we love to be able to see your name when you guys post. Um, we're going to try to get our gold fossil um, foil up on the website tomorrow. Uh, so it'll be ready to purchase. And there are actually three new foils. Um, our foil club received our twinkle silver and our sparkle gold I think in the October package, yes, the October package. We finally got it up on the main website. So if anybody's looking for that, it's there. And there's another new one that I haven't even shown off anyway. We just went ahead and threw it up on the website. It's called Marble Craft Ice. Pretty cool, okay? Um, maybe tomorrow night I'll actually show you guys that one as well. I don't have it back here. Um, but thank you guys for hanging out. Um, look for me to be back here tomorrow. We'll shoot for 4.30. Um, and those of you that like to get alerts, okay, anytime we're going live, um, I'm going to put my number here. Let's see if I can remember it. Um, but you would text um, the word alerts. Okay, I'm typing this in. Ooh, let's see if I can type um, to this number, okay. Oh gosh, I'm not sure if that's the right number. Crystal, are you on here? Can you type in the number for the text messages? I remember the first part of it. I just don't remember the last four digits all the time. Um, but it is a great way that you guys can know we're going live, okay? Um, and I'm not going to, I'm sorry, you guys, now that I've said that, I don't want to put it up there because I'm not sure about the last four digits. Um, let's see. So Mary Jo says, I want to foil the top of the, my nightstand. What grade sandpaper should I use to prep? Um, Mary Jo, I never use anything really heavy, but it really depends on what's on the nightstand already. If it was just previously painted or stained and has like a varnish on it, I'd use like 220 because um, basically all I'm doing is like knocking through the sheen and so I can get a little bit of um, a tooth to it. If it's not smooth to begin with, I might go a little bit heavier sandpaper so I can smooth it out. But if you're just trying to get a little bit of a grit, 220 should be fine. Hey, everybody, there's my phone number, okay? I was one number off, darn it. Okay, so 9356. Okay, let me put this up and I can post it. Okay, so if anybody would like to get text alerts, okay, we don't text you a lot. We just text you an alert five minutes before we're coming live to let you know that we're going to be on Facebook. So if you'd like to be part of that community, um, text the word alert to that number okay don't text it anywhere else don't type the word don't type alerts in the comments that isn't going to help you have to text that word to that phone number and you're going to have an automatic re reply um, that just has you fill out some information so that you're part of our community okay um, thank you guys and i appreciate all of you that um had me there and got that number up for everybody. Okay, guys, you have a wonderful night. We'll see you tomorrow.